Verse 22 says, but all the evil men, and it seems to indicate that of the 400 that David had with them, the bulk of them, um, the whole group, were evil men. It was probably that same core of people that wanted to stone him when they first lost everything. Think about that. When things are going well for people, they'll support you, but when they're not going well, they'll turn on you. And the word used, it says all the evil men, it means evil, it means bad, it means mischievous. They were troublemakers. They were good for nothing. They were worthless scoundrels, some of the commentaries say. <laughs> and we see also in verse 22, we will not share. Uh, always be aware of someone who doesn't want to share, no matter what it is. During the Holocaust, it's recorded that um, when they were in the concentration camps, they were given bread and a bowl of water a day. And many of the people would actually tie that to the people who were too sick to sit up and eat their own food. So they would, they would take a portion off everyone and give it to those who couldn't go and collect their food. And if you couldn't collect your food, you didn't get any food. It just worked that way. And uh, I read one report where someone said as soon as a man or a woman decided that they were no longer going to share their bread or share their water, they would be dead in a matter of days. Not because anyone killed them, but because inside they had turned off. They no longer had care for their fellow human beings. And many of their the survivors of the Holocaust and the concentration camps talk about how they tithe their meager pickings, um, like I said, for the sickest among them. In this case, the plunder is the booty that we recovered. We did it. We captured it. It's ours. It's mine. Um, Psalm 10 verse 7 says, His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. And David replies in verse 23, the word is Amar, he commanded. He wasn't going to put up with any of this nonsense. David brings it back to what the Lord has given us. He has protected us. He's the one I prayed to. He's the one who said, go and recover. He's the one who said, overtake. So it's him who's done it, not you guys, it's him. He has delivered them into our hands. <laughs> and then he says a line which I think we'd all like to say sometimes, who will listen to what you have to say? Um, you've got a history of saying hot-headed things, like I said, that when they were the 600 and wanted to stone him, and then when they're the 400 and don't want to share. David says all will share alike, not just the 600, and he goes further then. He says the whole harm army here will share, but in fact what he then does is he starts sharing it with the elders of Judah um, and start to share it with the people in the towns um, the leaders in the towns where him and his boys have been over the last several months, and he begins to share it with all of them, which was actually a bit of a diplomatic masterstroke in, in a way because David would need their support to establish his kingship. Hope that helps you heaps today. Don't forget to share. Remember, it's the Lord that gives the victory, not you or me, and uh, just share with one another and look out for one another. Bless. Go. Hey, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Hope is Alive channel and click here or here to watch more videos. Anytime you like.